hello guys yes here welcome back again to a new video I made this video especially for those who had a problem installing Windows 10 on their Mac book which is not supported by Apple those models actually I think it's they are I do have the 2011 model but I think this model I uh, this problem also for those who has 2010 models 2000 11 2012 models and they have upgraded the OS to Sierra the bootcamp in Sierra basically doesn't support installing Windows 10 um, this video is going to guide you through the correct process how to install Windows 10 on your Mac which is not supported using bootcamp itself I'm not going to do any modification to the files of the notebook because there are on the internet some instructions how to install Windows 10 on MacBook on unsupported Win MacBook without using bootcamp and that you have to do some modification and write some codes or copy paste them into the terminal I don't advise guys you change anything into the file systems of your notebook um, and at the end you will end up after installing Windows 10 on your, on, on your notebook you will end up with the problems in the audio therefore um, don't go with that solution in my opinion and if you go with it you might not success and you might harm your notebook this this video which I'm recording this way actually is not available on the internet anywhere because actually I figured it out by coincidence and uh, after reading a lot of articles I wrote watching a lot of videos on YouTube I didn't come into solution until I found out by coincidence this solution so bear with me and I will get into the process step by step now uh, one of the issues when you try to install Windows 10 using a bootable USB or bootable uh, CD uh, when you reach into this point over here where you want to format your bootcamp and you press on format what happened actually you will get this message over here Windows cannot be installed on the driver zero partition whatever is the partition you have on your notebook it's different it depends and when you press on show uh, details it will say that Windows uh, did not recognize the format it should be GPT or something like that so in order to pass by this issue the GPT error my way is going to show you or to tell you how to do that okay so let's minimize this one sorry let's minimize this one and now this is what you need guys this is what you need in order to perform correctly my way first of all you need uh, Windows 10 you go to Microsoft and download Windows 10 image from uh, Microsoft burn it into a DVD as a bootable DVD because this one we are going to use it later on to boot from the CD from the DVD Windows 10 you also need to download a Windows 8.1 image from Microsoft website uh, download it only to your computer as you can see over here I download it here you just need to download to the computer don't burn it on the CD you don't need you don't need to do that you also need to download a diamond tool it is basically free for 20 days I guess free tool it is the key basically to install the uh, Windows 10 to to your notebook using bootcamp I'm going to show you how now uh, that's what you guys need so get it ready and I'm going to show you my MacBook version over here so as you can see I have MacBook Sierra 
latest version and my notebook is late 2011 macbook pro okay now let's go to bootcamp assistant okay as you can see here of bootcamp it shows uh, windows 7 and windows 8 it supports only windows 7 and windows 8 uh, be aware that this way which I'm showing you now doesn't work with Windows 7 that's why I, I, I told you to, to download Windows 8.1 image why because I think there is some kind of shared file between Windows 8 and Windows 10 that's why uh, bootcamp allow the process uh, of Windows 8 yeah so let's get into the uh, way you have to start diamond diamond tools okay I'm going to remove the image from here so I will show you exactly what I did now as you remember I told you to download the image of uh, Windows 8.1 now what you have to do and this is the trick you open diamond tool press on the plus and add the Windows 8 uh, image which you downloaded 8.1 then mounted when you mount it it will show over here now what you have to do is start bootcamp make sure guys that bootcamp before doing this process before adding the image make sure bootcamp was off it's on it's not on so here is bootcamp launch bootcamp and then press on continue now the image is already mounted here what happened basically when you press on continue it will think the bootcamp it will think that you have a windows cd in the uh, cd drive or external cd drive basically this program it will trick bootcamp and it will make bootcamp think that there is a CD in the CD drive basically it's not so it will take you to the second step which is the partitioning so you continue as usual with the partitioning process you decide what is the size you want to install Windows 10 on your laptop and then uh, go to the next to I mean continue then next then next then it will restart your computer now when your computer will restart you will get a black screen this one where it will show no bootable device insert boot disk and press any key to continue now why this is happened because basically we don't have any DVD or CD bootable CD inside the uh, CD drive so here it comes the part where we will use the uh, Windows 10 CD or DVD burned DVD which here I told you then you insert this uh, bootable DVD which we created for Windows 10 and you might uh, the computer might not read it immediately so what you have to do that guys is the uh, turn off the computer how to turn off the computer you just press on the power button for a bit long time until it force it to shut down and then after five seconds start the computer again it will automatically read the CD and it will take you through the process installation process of Windows 10 into your computer and that's it you will be having Windows 10 on your computer uh, I would advise you guys is to install uh, bootcamp version 5.1 uh, drivers you want to download the latest Windows support uh, software from Apple that's fine for Windows 7 and Windows 8 but if you have it already and I would advise you to use the version 5.1 This one this is basically 
works very very well with my uh, and it is for Windows 7, Windows 8, Windows 8.1 So right now I'm recording from my uh, mobile and going to restart my computer and show you guys Windows 10 installed on my notebook. Let's go here and restart. So here is Windows 10 on my computer I'm going to log in here we go as you can see over here I'm going to show you the sound and I can also control the sound as you can see increase it or decrease it it's working very well it's working fine um, I've been using uh, Windows for past two days three days and everything seems to work perfectly without any issues without any problems so I hope this video uh, will help you installing Windows uh, 10 on your MacBook and it is a useful tips for you please subscribe to my channel to get more solutions and to see more reviews please also check my other videos I have um, interesting videos, review videos and solutions. I hope you guys find this video useful and uh, we'll see you in next video. Thank you so much for watching and ciao.